Hey guys, I'm at Pedagogue's new headquarters in Fountain Valley, California, and I'm here with Paul. You sell lead product manager, designer, QA. What? Yeah. Tell me about all the stuff you do, man. Anything that has to do with our product and sourcing it in China um, and making sure it all comes together in a good package is my job. You're a globe trotter. I am. I am. <laughs> I've been. I've been around the world a little bit. I've had a good time hanging out with you because. I ask all these questions when I do the reviews, mm -hmm. right? You know, I'm, I'm like in there, I'm like weighing stuff and yep. you're like, I got it, I got it. You know the answers. And in fact, you you illuminated this beyond what I just saw to, to begin with. You, you know, you look at this, this is the 24 inch Pedego trail tracker. 24, that's the wheel diameter versus the original 26. And when I say original, this is, this is like the upgraded, new, improved. You guys are constantly iterating, improving your products. We were just having a quick conversation about the original trail tracker, and I think I reviewed it. And you know, several years ago, yep. had a battery box hanging off the back. Mm -hmm. The frame was a little, you know, they could use some stiffening. And you were telling me, what what have you done? You've made some improvements. Oh, uh, so one of the biggest improvements to this version of the trail tracker, um, we shortened up the base length, uh, the, the wheel base length, about three inches. Wow. So that's going to reduce a lot of those issues uh, that you're talking about a second ago. Uh, some of the wobbling that some users experienced. Yeah. Uh, and then we centralized some of that weight with that down to battery and uh, that's made a lot of people happy. I'm yeah. very happy with the design too. We also added a few other cool features too that you can see on that bike right over there. Well, this is, that's the full size trail tracker. We'll view that separately. <laughs> this review is really about the companion, right? This is the 24 inch. And the other day I reviewed the 20 inch, which is like the kids version. So you could literally have like a guy, a girl, a tall guy, a short guy. We have we have all whole sorts of families going out right now. Yeah, and, uh, it's 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 like a it's a gang of trail tracker riders. <laughs> it's a fun platform, and I guess the piece that I like about the full size ones, like the 24 here, is that of course you've got some comfort going through these tires. You know, I think the the inflation on these they say max 20 psi. You can run them like five to 20, and the idea is like snow or sand and lower psi it spreads out and it gives you more surface contact for grip, but also just a little bit more float so you don't sink in. It improves your steering. These are originally like snow bikes, but I think a lot of people got into them as like just a fun bike, you know, it's stomper truck. Oh, they are so much fun to ride. And one of the cool side effects of those big tires is it absorbs a lot of the uh, the road conditions too. Yeah. And uh, they're just, it's just, it's like you feel like a little kid no matter what size the bike is. I, I like that. And I, I again, you don't have suspension on this, which keeps it maybe a little bit lighter and tightens the frame up. I believe the fork is steel. We were looking at this earlier. That tends to be a little bit stronger, maybe not as brittle as aluminum. Can you comment on the, the fork at all? As uh, the, the, the rigidity is gonna make it uh, a real nice ride. Um, it's extra wide to accommodate that four inch tire. Yeah, it's kind of custom uh, fork. Yep, yep, custom fork for our bike. Um, there aren't too many 24 inch fat tire bikes out there on the market or 20 inch bikes. Yeah. Um, it was just, a, a, it was an almost obvious idea of mine uh, about a year and a half ago and then we, we made it come to fruition and everybody's been real stoked this on it. This must be pretty popular because it's like, this is one of, I guess a lot of your bikes are starting to come in multiple different sizes. Uh, yeah, that, that's one of the things that we generally, we hadn't done in the beginning was have multiple size frames. Um, a lot of companies will have small, medium, large frames. Um, we try to do things to get around that. Um, we'll have adjustable uh, stems and you know have lots of range on the seat post uh, length so we can fit riders of all sizes. Um, but we've definitely branched out to try to accommodate a little more and the reception's been very good. Well, I gotta say, so that, that's a great lead in. You've, you've done a couple things on this frame. This is 6061 aluminum alloy, so relatively light. It's a good material, but the battery is integrated into the down tube. The top tube is, is really sloped nicely so that the standover height's a little bit lower so that it can accommodate people who may not have that, that inseam length. Is that because you don't have like a full step through, which would be a little bit, uh-oh, we got the winds coming up. A, a full step through would be a little bit easier to approach, uh, but maybe not as stiff, you know, you compromise on performance. Yeah, we definitely don't want to compromise on the frame integrity at all. Mm -hmm. um, and we were real happy with the size of that step through. Uh, did quite a few versions to get that right geometry and that right frame size yeah. for different size riders. We just wanted to make sure that it was just overall very comfortable when we hopped on. Yeah, it's nice. and but. So that this doesn't blow away anymore, I, I wanted to just showcase that their products come with some really great packaging now. I've got some stickers, you got your manual tools, there's even touch-up paint, black 
and blue because uh, you know you can see those nice rims there really colorful bright an extra fuse those are the pedals those are actually Welgos but they're Pedego branded these are some of my favorites because they've got excellent traction and just good surface contact they aren't going to flex or break nice charger this is three amp output a little bit faster normal chargers that i see are like two amps you're going to charge faster only two pounds relatively compact and this nice box okay i'm going to put the lid on this and we'll jump back over here um the point about the frame that i was trying to get at is that okay yeah it's sloped but you're, you're still able to squeeze in some bottle cage bosses i'm constantly commenting on that because who wants to you know, you wear a backpack or something and maybe you put a rack on, but now it's it's kind of like, you know, do you need a bag or whatever? Just having some bottle cage bosses are nice. I appreciate that you got those on there, Paul. Yeah, absolutely. We like to listen to what our customer feedback is and uh, make sure that we're hitting all the right marks for them. Um, we just want these products to be fun. Yeah, definitely. So I'm gonna run through the rest of the technical specs here. Uh, really awesome disc brakes. These are Avid, they're mechanical. 180 millimeter rotors, Tektro e-bike specific brake levers with motor inhibitors. So when you pull them, they cut power to the motor. And that's important because this is a cadence sensing uh, pedal assist bike. And you can see they're using the new cadence sensor. It's really compact. It looks a lot nicer. It's the older ones had a big like plastic disc with magnets on it. And if that got bumped out of alignment, you'd kind of have cutout happening. This this one's very responsive, it works well. A lot of the wires are run through the frame, very clean. And then up here, we've got these nice um, threaded connectors and they're color match so that, it, you know, if you're buying this from a Pedego dealer, of which there are many worldwide now, they can help you service this just much quicker. It's very easy to do. And they kept the cockpit pretty clean. You can see that the brake lever that we were looking at earlier has this bell integrated it's not going to get bumped out of place and it's easy to reach along with the display panel it used to be you had a display right in the middle now it's like off to the left a little bit and it's combined with the button pad which is pretty intuitive i'll get to that a little bit later a nice sturdy headset relatively flat bars these are locking grips so see they don't twist if you really bear down on them and if the bike tips they're not going to get damaged quite as easily or like you know just cut up and stuff saddle i believe this is by velo kind of kind of standard um but it does have a little bit of like a almost like a grip on the back so i've been using it to lift up the bike i would say be careful doing that because this seat post that it comes with is this exoform um i believe it's 28.6 millimeter diameter that's a little bit wider than 27.2 which is standard over time it could loosen up a little bit i think they've done something to to try to address that but you're lifting you know the, the bike isn't super light it's like 58 0.6 pounds with the battery on it and I believe the battery is like six and a half pounds you could take that off and lighten the load a little bit but this seat post is a question mark I love the comfort that it gives you in addition to the tires but the vulnerability of the twisting and stuff sometimes when the seat's not straight you see people banging on it like this when it's when you got a seat post suspension like this that's a little bit more delicate and your minimum seat post your seat height it's it's raised a little bit so if you're a super short person the, the seat's gonna be this high instead of really, really close there. It's it's all about trade-offs. You can easily get a replacement seat post if you want to. Um, those are just things that came to mind for me. Question marks, you know, do you, you go with comfort like this? Um, I don't know, Did you do you have any comments on what you heard me talking about there, Paul? I think you were hitting all the marks. Um, I think one of the things that we also try to integrate on this uh, bike versus the 20 inch, we do have the headlight on the front. Yeah, um, I like that. Yep, yeah, that, that's uh, you know a, a good piece that a lot of people like, just to be able to see if they go ride at, at night or maybe do some trail riding. Right, <laughs> absolutely. Operate. It's like be seen, but also actually give you some, some yep, visibility. Absolutely. And I, I think that's all the marks. Let's see, we got the reflector built in, reflectors on the pedals and everything like that. Um, I'm gonna walk around to the other side, but before I do, do you see this? This has the finger adjustment on the disc brakes. So sometimes over time, you'll notice that these get a little bit slack or whatever. And there is some cable stretch, there's some break in. So when you buy this, it's nice to be able to go back to the dealer and get a little bit of support. Pedego has a pretty phenomenal warranty. I think you were telling me it's like two years comprehensive now, right? Yep, we changed our warranty. Uh, brand new for 2017. Uh, two years all inclusive on the battery. Yeah. Uh, and then along uh, with the parts and then a lifetime on the frame. Do you have any tips on how people can care for these batteries? Because you probably see a lot here. 
Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, if you're leaving for extended a period of time, uh, three or more months, you want to leave the battery charged at about 50%. Okay. Um, and then, uh, and then if you if anything beyond that amount of time, long, longer than three months, you want to make sure to at least try to charge it once a month. Um, they, the batteries don't have memory like some of the uh, old batteries from. Is that like NICADs or yeah, whatever? Yeah, yeah. So that the good thing is that lithium ion doesn't have doesn't uh, keep that memory anymore. Um, but uh, the good news is that the technology is getting better, so yeah. the customer has to worry less and less about maintaining, <laughs> right. which is very nice for everybody. Now, these are Panasonic cells. You guys are using like top of the line, as you said, a great warranty. Uh, the battery is removable, so sometimes if you live where it's super cold or super hot, it's nice to store it in a cool, dry location is my understanding. The fuse is built right into that custom battery and it's just really clean. It keeps the weight low and centered across the frame, actually brings a little bit of weight forward because the, the motor is, you know, it's kind of heavy. It's a pretty powerful motor, 500 watt nominal. I think we were saying like 880 peak or something yeah, like that, is that right? It has pretty impressive peak for the size of the bicycle. Yeah, and it's compact, it blends in. So it's like all black, it matches the spokes, it kind of matches the all black frame. That's another area where I'm like, I'm glad this one has a light and the, the, the rims show up a little bit more. I, you know, on Amazon, they sell this like reflective stickers for bicycles and stuff. Depending on where you're riding and what time of day you're riding, I would consider adding that. Or you know, I have a light-colored helmet, and I'm, I'm just always thinking about safety. Yes, this looks cool in the matte black, but you know, you don't want to. You want to be seen sometimes too. Um, I love that the uh, the rims here are so beautiful, and we talked about that touch-up paint. I believe the spokes are a little bit thicker. These might be like 13 gauge, front and rear. Um, you've got the, the nipples, so it kind of spreads out the weight a little bit, and it's just a little bit tougher all around. Nice kickstand. That's one of the areas I comment all the time on these, because, you know, if you pedal backwards, the pedal collides with the kickstand. So, you know, that happens when you're walking the bike backwards, or if you're trying to service the chain while the bike is sitting up. Just keep an eye out so you don't trip yourself with that. We get over to the other side here. We've got Shimano Acera. This is pretty nice stuff. This is an up upgrade from... Uh, Shimano tourney that we saw on the 20 inch trail tracker a little bit nicer for probably a little bit more responsible owner Maybe someone who's a little bit older got the big trigger shifters here or actually these I would call them thumb shifters You just kind of push up this way click down there It's not as elegant and tucked in as triggers But if you're wearing gloves, you know, it's bigger and so you're not gonna maybe struggle to get in there and, and hit those tinier buttons So that's that's kind of nice Another shot of the cables over here, all pretty well integrated. Knobby tires and a bash guard. Okay, so this metal ring, it's going to act a little bit as a chain cover and keep your pants from, or dress, from rubbing on that chain. But it'll also protect the teeth if you go over like a huge log or a rock. So this is a little bit more, more rugged, which is great. Seven speed drivetrain in the rear. Nice, kind of a neoprene slap guard so that when you're going over bumps, you might want to adjust this properly. The chain can go down like this and, and nick the frame. And you know, it just, that's part of keeping this thing looking beautiful. You are spending a little bit more money for this. I think it's $28.95. We're getting into the $3,000 mark, but you know, you're getting it from a dealer. They can help you accessorize a little bit, maybe have some extras. You're getting the warranty and the premium motor, the premium battery and everything. This is a, a Dapu motor, by the way higher quality it tends to be a little bit quieter and just pretty zippy is what I've noticed one thing I really like about these bikes is that you have a throttle in addition to pedal assist okay and the pedal assist again it's cadence sensing so if you're someone with a knee injury like me you can start out with the throttle you don't have to get the weight of the bike moving all on your own yeah you could shift down gears but it's kind of like clunk, clunk 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 it's like no you just twist it and it goes and I love that that's a really nice um, just kind of a feature of, of electric bikes. And then the older bikes that I was talking about with Paul earlier, you know, the battery was way back here and you had to leave the key in on some of them. Now you can take the key completely out and you'll notice that this is kind of a spring system. So I could take the battery out like this and actually I'm gonna turn it off first. And then you can clip it back in and in so doing, the, the locking mechanism sort of automatically clicks. So if you don't have the key, it's gonna stay locked. And I, I love that, that's really nice. And the key's not gonna snag you or anything like that. The battery feeds the light. 
the battery feeds the backlit display, and there's a little five volt USB port below the display. So if you're someone who really likes to listen to music or have a GPS going or something like that, you totally can. And you can take advantage of that larger battery capacity that we talked about. It's slightly above average, 36 volt, 11.6 amp hours. So I think that's, I think that's pretty thorough. Um, maybe you could walk me through the display a little bit. Paul, would you be willing to do that? Yeah, absolutely. So maybe this first step is the power button on top of the battery pack. Then we come up here and press the power button again. Yep, we're gonna press, quick press that oh, this great power info. button on the front. It's gonna cycle on. All right, so actually one of the other features uh, that these down tube batteries also offer are uh, some additional functionality beyond um, our rear rack batteries as well. So you can actually get uh, your percentage, your cycles and your voltage of your BMS. Oh, cool. So we can see that right here, we're at 54%. Uh, hit set and plus real quick. It's the fourth cycle of the battery. Whoa. So our batteries. We, brand new. Yeah, oh yeah. Brand new. <laughs> <laughs> the batteries get between 500 and 1,000 cycles. And then we'll hit it one more time and then we can see the actual voltage of the battery as okay. well. And that's like if you're a pro and you could like map the voltage yeah. and know like a little bit more precisely yeah, how full yeah. it is. It, it's, it's very helpful for a few purposes. Uh, I mean, if you want to know uh, the overall life of your battery, it's helpful. Uh, yeah. It's good for servicing as well. So it comes in pretty handy. Okay. Well, the other things I think that are more basic is you got your speed here, your pedal assist levels. I think we go from zero, which is like no pedal assist. Does the throttle work in zero? Are we going to? Uh, it, it shouldn't. It shouldn't? <laughs> it, so we can it, it may on this one. Nope. Nope. It, it good. Okay. <laughs> so this is just bicycle mode. We're in zero. Like nothing's going to happen. As soon as we arrow up to one, do we get full power on we're, the throttle? We're going to get full power. Full power. That's the way I like to do it, guys, because, you know, you're, say you're hanging out with your friends, you're going, taking it easy, but then there's a hill or yeah. there's, you need to dash up and get your friend or something. You get full control without having to look down and tinker around with this display. It's just, it's thing, it's power on demand. Just be careful that you don't get freaked out and accidentally pull it all the way when you're not ready. Again, that's why the motor inhibitors are there. So this is a more this is a more advanced bike in some ways, having having that option at your Absolutely. fingertips. Go all the way up to level five and then six. So can you tell me that there are different like features of all these levels, yeah, right? Yeah, there are definitely different features. Um, so this has a new pedal sense software on it. Pedal uh, sense. Pedal sense is our is that new trademark. <laughs> yeah, it is trademarked. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's our new proprietary <laughs> controller software. Okay. Um, and what it does is it gives you the best, the most optimal riding experience through the propulsion system, determined on the specific bike that you're riding. Okay. Um, so all the new bikes have pedal sense on them. Um, and some of them have different features. This bike has the, the speed sensor on it. Some of them have torque sensors. Um, so we've optimized that to be the most accurate riding experience for each of those Can bikes. you just like, give me some plain the, Jane. The quick, the quick rundown, okay. Yeah. So on the system, zero, as we talked about a few seconds ago, that's gonna be free ride mode. Yep. Um, so essentially, just a normal bicycle. So if you wanna get on it and know your speedometer and your odometer, you can get that on yep. demand and right the light, there. And the light, right? It's just like light. bike yep. plus is what that is. Uh, yep, essentially. Um, and then uh, one through five on this system are uh -huh. the varying levels of pedal assist. Uh, so one, you're gonna max out at around, I think it's about eight miles an hour. Okay. Um, and then all the way up through five maxes out at 20 miles an hour. So you get varying levels of top speed in between that. Nice. Um, and then six is throttle only. So your throttle will actually override in one through through six. Yeah. But if you wanna pedal um, and then not have the motor engaged, have that pedal assist system off, uh, you can hit the throttle at any time and then it'll engage. Now that is really cool. That That's why I was asking about zero, because some bikes it's like zero is throttle only mode, but you've got an extra level. You've got throttle only and pedal only. So that's kind of neat. Yeah, yeah, and we, we've come to see the, uh, that, it, that it's safer too. Um, hmm. We have a lot of customers or, or people that get really interested in these bikes and they turn it on and the first thing they do is grab that throttle, <laughs> that throttle. and twist it. Let's go, yeah. that's what I was talking about, yeah. And, uh, and then the other big reason that I incorporated this into the software is when we had the Ridge Rider come out, I'm an avid mountain biker myself. Oh yeah. And the, in, as funny as this sounds, the last thing you actually want sometimes is power. Yeah. Uh, so we wanted a safe way to be able to go down a hill. You don't want to accidentally accelerate while you're trying to navigate uh, tough terrain. Right. Yeah, so we have that option on there. Okay, well one of the other really cool new features that I wanted to point out was how rugged these are. Instead of having a cable coming out of the axle, and I think it would usually be on the right side over here where the derailleur is, you know, that got to be a lot of cables and it's a vulnerable side of the bike. That's why the kickstand's over here. It's like, if it's gonna tip, tip left. Um, on the right side, you used to have a cable coming out and it was 
covered with that neoprene wrap and everything. Now it comes out through the bottom right here and it's just in front of the disc brake rotor. Don't touch that by the way because the oils from your skin will mess up the pads. Anyway, it comes out from here and it's tucked right along the bottom of the frame. So it's still accessible, easy to tune up or fix or replace or whatever. And you know, sometimes you have to take this rear wheel off to replace the tube or new tires, but it's just tucked in. It's not gonna get snagged. It's not gonna get bent if the bike tips. Um, up front, same thing. You just got nuts, nine millimeter axles on both of these. So it's kind of a nice thing. Um, you know, rear rack bosses we were talking about earlier and fender bosses. I don't know if you guys sell fenders that would fit this or if we don't have anything directly from pedigo uh but we have a list of certified uh accessories that will fit aftermarket okay you just contact the dealer pedigo thing dealer. right yep. yeah. what else have, i mean that was for me that was like a hooray moment is there any other secret cool things you could tell me Ooh, a hooray moment yeah or um, just anything we've talked a whole bunch about this bike um i could say that a couple of the maybe under the hood features uh you know a lot of the, it's a lot of the the changes we made were trying to be passive um, yeah. Not significant enough to affect the overall performance of the bicycle, uh, but but uh, made that the overall experience is better um, in, in the end. Um, so one of the big things we did was reduce our overall connections on the controller. Um, it just makes it a lot cleaner. It makes it a lot uh, easier to understand. Yeah, you were um, talking about these. Yeah, up we here. tidied up some of the controller connections too, or the cable connections. Mm -hmm. We just want to make sure everything's a lot more straightforward and, and then easier to service. Yeah. Okay. Well, that is great feedback. We're, we're tapped. We, we've looked at pretty much everything on this bike. It might be time to just hop on and ride it. I appreciate the iterative improvements these guys make. I mean, one of the things we were talking about was lights. I guess there are different standards and maybe you guys are tweaking the light a little bit so it's even more durable in the future too. Yep, we'll be doing some small uh, quality of life changes to make sure things are a little bit more rugged. Uh, like to get a brighter light on, on the bikes too. Um, so, you know, we're just constantly trying to improve our product. Just keeps on going. Yep. Right, okay. Okay, I'm gonna hop on this, uh, but before I do, <laughs> I wanna just do a walk around on this. So, I mean, you know, the, the opportunity here is like kind of a his and hers, or I, I, I know it's about height for primarily, that's like the, the non-sexist way to explore these bikes. But I mean, this is kind of cool that like a guy and a girl could do this and the girl has a bike. Girls tend to be shorter that they can get on and, and handle, it's a little bit lighter weight. This is at the higher end, right? This is the, the latest trail tracker, the full size edition. And you've got some aftermarket studded tires on these. Look at this. Arison, I've, you know, shark tooth. That's pretty rad. And I was like, let's ride it, Paul. And he was like, dude, you'll slide out on that pavement so fast. So I was like, okay, maybe not today. Um, but you know, check it out. They've got the Rock Shocks Bluto fork. This has the through axle on the front. It's just just some neat upgrades that you can do. Tapered head tube. Um, so, you know, that's that's at the other end. Uh, and you could have kind of matching bikes. I think this one comes with four different rim colors. Do you know how many, do, do we have like blue and green for the? Oh, the 24 inch has matte black and then this blue color. Matte black, so you could be stealthy, like all black all if you black. want to. Yep. That's sweet. Well, I am gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this, buddy. Uh, this is the pedal thing. Just pedal it forward slightly like that. Get that kickstand up. I'm gonna hop on it. Whoa. I'm gonna take the key out. Can I hand this back to you? Absolutely. Thanks, man. So that's gonna stay out of the way of my knee and everything. It's got just great clearance. You're not gonna knock your knees. My girlfriend, you know, we went mountain biking once and she jumped off and, you know, kind of bumped her, her inner thigh. So I, I do really like the way this frame's set up a little bit lower like that. I'm gonna take it all the way up to the highest level of pedal assist because why not? We'll see how responsive it is. It and I'll, I'll see you in a minute, Paul, okay? Sounds good. go it's doing pretty well and i could hear it at this highest level of assist but i also hear the knobs on the concrete so it ends up being you know a relatively quiet bike these geared motors tend to be more compact and lighter weight than gearless equivalents they tend to be really reliable especially the dapu ones I might just uh do throttle override this time here we go
pretty smooth on the disc brakes. They work well. Again, hydraulic it would be an, an, an interesting upgrade. Maybe they'll do that in the future. The hydraulic disc brakes have levers with adjustable reach and they're just a little smoother. They give you more power. They don't require as long of levers, but these ones have the rubberized edges and everything. I, I can see why they used them. Pretty quiet. I'm not hearing a whole lot of rattling or anything. True off-roading, you might have heard the da 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 That's because the uh, kickstand on the other side bounced around a little bit. That's part of the reason that, like, real mountain bikes, like hardcore stuff, they, they don't have kickstands at all. Given that this could be used in a wide variety of applications, I completely think the kickstand makes sense. But it's an area that you could easily adjust. You just take that bolt off right there and, and remove the kickstand if you wanted. good performance. You mind hopping on this thing and giving it a little, little ride and I'll ch chase you for a second? Yeah, sounds good. I like to get that third person perspective. You can do it, Paul. I think I've ridden one of these before. <laughs> He's like, I built this thing. Juice it. <laughs> there he goes. You know, even I'm, I'm like 5'9". I don't know how tall Paul is, but this felt pretty comfortable to me. Um, Pedego has some of the larger bikes, more full-size bikes like their Interceptor and even maybe the, the full-size Trail Tracker. So, you know, the taller guys, the bigger guys can enjoy it too. I might actually opt for the 24. <clears throat> Sweet. Wanna give me a brake test? Oh yeah, we're burning rubber, baby. Well, I think, I think that's it. We, we've had fun, we've checked this thing out, we've been very thorough. Uh, for the full written review on this, I'll see you back at electricbikereview.com. Definitely check it out if you live near a Pedego dealer. And of course, ride safe. <laughs>